now types of configuration so that's what we are going to see the types of configuration so when the transistor is connected to an any circuit one terminal is used as input one terminal is used as output and other terminal is common to both input and output that common terminal is mostly grounded so common nale it has to be grounded right only when you ground uh, you only when you properly give ground to your uh, device uh, you are uh, circuit will work fine in circuit la ground pannama ninga connection kodutinga output will not come right so since transistor is going to have three terminals one will be acting as input one will be acting as output and one will be common to both input and output i am going to refer that common terminal as common terminal as the uh, ground terminal so depending on the input and output and common terminal a transistor can be connected in three ways one one the common base cp next one is common emitter ce and third one is common collector cc so three configurations are there uh, uh, which you are you can connect the uh, transistor in one is common base common emitter and common collector so common base configuration you see this is also called as grounded base you know common i told you how to remember which terminal is grounded na common whichever that word common is coming to whichever uh, terminal that terminal is grounded so cp is a common base it is a grounded base configuration so in this configuration base is the common terminal or grounded terminal emitter is the input collector is the output so or uh, configuration sonna you should be able to write the input out to ground terminal immediately without by hearting so that on level of understanding you should have so if i say common base means you should write what is input output ground and you should be able to draw the diagram in a simplified way okay that is the understanding required if that is very clear or a configuration varanjit oppa kandu pittingna neenga remaining two configuration you can easily do it by yourself okay very very important the so common uh, configuration in pjt is very very important if pjt is clear next mosfet la padikumbodhu innum simple ah irukum because it is three terminals anga vera pair la varum so same way these things will also repeat there so one time if you read it clearly it is going to be very very easy for you then common emitter configuration it is called as ground, ground, grounded emitter so emitter pakkatha common the name is come so it is called as grounded emitter configuration so in this configuration the base is the input terminal collector is the output terminal and emitter is the common terminal common means ground okay and last one common collector configuration cc this is called grounded collector configuration because collector is grounded in this configuration base is the input terminal emitter is the output terminal and collector is the common terminal okay. anybody is having doubts please unmute yourself please uh, you can un uh, uh, please mute and while you are listening to the class you can unmute your self if you have Shashi sir please unmute yourself thank you any doubt in the configuration i am just going to pass for a few seconds any doubts you have you can ask regarding the three configurations how to arrive at the three configurations i hope things are clear right so now we we'll see the diagram for each of the configuration so this is common base first one is common base okay second one is common sorry this it is given wrongly this p1 p is common this one is common base you see base is grounded emitter is the input output is the collector okay and you know emitter base junction is forward bias so emitter from the n type so n type i give negative here and base with the p type i give positive here okay and uh, collector base junction is reverse bias so emitter collector from the n type so i am giving positive potential and base from the p type i am i'm uh, collector from the n type i am giving positive potential base from the p type i am giving negative potential this is common base the how to draw this battery is also known to you i told you the based on the forward bias of emitter base junction and reverse bias of collector base junction and the concept is that we are doing it okay see here this one is common emitter c because emitter is grounded see here 
emitter is grounded it is common so input to space output to collector and the emitter base junction is forward bias so basic one the positive because p correct ah emitter one the negative so n emitter is n so it is connected to negative and uh, collector base junction is reverse bias la so collector one the again n so collector is given positive so in the next terminal the negative is going to be grounded so this is the common emitter configuration how to draw the power supplies the last one common collector cc so this is your uh, common collector configuration collector is grounded base is input emitter is output emitter base tension is uh, emitter base tension is forward bias so you know so the base is p so basically i am giving positive emitter is n and the emitter can be very negative so other the remaining supplies the, the, the terminals of supply are grounded any doubt any anybody is having doubt in drawing this diagram anybody is having doubt in drawing this diagram you can ask unmute yourself and ask Sir, in common collector, is both the bias are forward, sir. Common collector, you see, common collector, you have to see emitter base junction is forward bias, correct? So actually, emitter and base are in present in different side. But then, emitter, emitter is N type and base is P type, right? Forward bias, can happen when you are base uh, P type. You will give the same polarity, right? So base, if you are, I am giving positive potential, and for emitter, you see, I am giving negative potential. So remaining other other terminal will be automatically grounded. Is that clear? Yes, sir. In the first, in the first C and C B emitter of base of pocket pocket there is so I can easily uh, give the forward bias and reverse bias connection easily. But only in common collector base and emitter will be different because one is input, one is going to be output, right? So on that level, we will be giving the power supply only for the base and emitter. We will not automatically when you give the uh, connection for base and uh, emitter automatically collector base uh, junction will be automatically reverse bias. We need not worry about that. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Now we are going to study about in depth about each of the configuration. First, to start with, I am going to we are going to start with common base. So I am going to take this configuration of my transistor, and we are going to analyze what is the properties of common base.